Joined by St. Mary's associate head coach Tracy Sanders. Tracy, it was unconventional, it was exciting. The Gales come away with a low scoring, hard fought win, 55-53 the final. Not the first time we've seen a, a stop to seal a win. Uh, this one, a 55-53 win, and, and Tracy, in those situations, late in games with uh, the game on the line, how confident are you? Or how confident uh, are you in the Gales to, to oh come geez. up with a big stop? Um, you know, I think you have to have that confidence in them so that you know they they believe they can do it, and and we do. We do have the the people that can make those stops and make those plays, and we practice those every every single day. So um, it's nice to you know, have that practice pay off. And um, I thought they did a good job. It's all, it's really all about communicating and, you know, for switching everything, um, making sure that we understand we have to be out on three point shooters, which I thought they had a pretty decent look at the basket. So I think we could have been a little bit closer, but um, you know, it worked out. Shannon did a good job of going to get the rebound and it was a good finish. In every game, there always seems to be a, a run that needs to be answered. The Santa Clara run came at the end of the third, 16 to two. Yeah. How did you think your team responded to that? I, I thought we did a good job. You know, they did make a push. We had, I thought, some great looks at the basket that just didn't fall. Um, and I think with those, you, you have to take those shots. I think we could have done a better job. You know, I, overall probably did a good job on the offensive boards, but I think in those situations where you're getting those up and looks, but the shot isn't falling, you have to get in there and get the offensive rebound for an easy score or get to the free throw line. Um, so we went through a stretch there where, you know, we probably should have tried to get to the free throw line and um, find other ways to make up those points, but, and do a better job of stopping the run a little sooner. Well, St. Mary's the number one offense in the WCC. Today, it was a defensive game, playing without Stella Beck, the leading scorer on the team. It, it really fell to the Gales defense. What does this type of win say about how well-rounded this group yeah. is. I mean, I think we have great players, and I think, you know, they know when they need to, to step up and um, fill some different roles, and I thought some people did that tonight. You know, we asked some people to play a little bit more minutes, and we had, you know, Brookshire out on the perimeter a little bit, and so we had to make a little bit of changes, but I thought they were resilient, and they handled it well, and they stepped up, and that's what you do when someone's out, and hopefully, you know, Stella will be back quickly, and we'll have her right back in there. Well, at the end of the day, it's a four-game winning streak yeah. and, and a win. And thanks for the time, Tracy. Thank you. Gales associate head coach Tracy Sanders. The Gales hold on 55-53, to 53, another stop at the end of regulation to seal a win.